Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. Ancient Magician's Curse In Jerusalem, archaeologists discovered a lead tablet dating back 1,700 years. The tablet is kind of horrifying for one simple fact. A curse was written on it by a magician. Yes, a very real, ancient magician. The tablet was discovered inside a Roman mansion being excavated by the Israel Antiquities Authority beneath a parking lot of all places. It was discovered in a part of Jerusalem called the City of David, an area with over 6,000 years of continuous human occupation. The mansion was in use sometime around the year 363 AD, just before it was destroyed by an earthquake. As for the text on the tablet, it was written in Greek. The inscription says that a woman named Kirilla invoked the names of six gods so that she could cast an evil curse on a man named Lenis, apparently over some kind of legal matter. The text says something similar to, I strike down and nail down the tongue and the eyes of the opposition of Lenny's. Basically, Kirilla was asking the gods to make sure that this person could in no way be an adversary. She wanted him to lose whatever legal battle the two were having. What's truly amazing is that this magician combined elements from at least four different religions to complete the curse. She used gods including Hermes, Persephone, Hecate, and Hades. One god is from Babylon, one is a Gnostic god, and the others are Greek. Overkill? I think so. Number 9. Bodies at German Stonehenge There is a German version of Stonehenge, a circular henge built in the Neolithic period around the year 2320 BC. This was just about 200 years after Stonehenge in England was put together by a different tribe of Neolithic people. The henge in Germany can still be seen today near the small town of Pamelta, just as impressive as the one in England, but not quite as famous. It also wasn't built out of stones, but rather with wood. In addition, it also features several different rings and a bunch of mysterious pits. According to archaeologists, the German Stonehenge was used as a gathering place for the local communities, a place where they would perform rituals. One of these rituals very well may have been human sacrifice specifically the sacrifice of young children and women. We know this because scientists have uncovered the skeletons of both women and children inside the mysterious pits surrounding the monument. Archaeologists also found cattle bones, fragments of drinking vessels, and other materials often associated with Neolithic rituals. So far, at least seven bodies have been found buried with ritualistic paraphernalia. And here's where things get really disturbing. Archaeologists have also uncovered random limbs, including severed arms, legs, and heads. Almost all the children were between the ages of 3 and 17, with the women being over 40. But unfortunately, we still have no idea how or why these particular people were slaughtered and dismembered. Number 8. Ancient Bear Skeleton An ancient bear skeleton was unearthed in the central province of Henan in China. Scientists believe, based on the size of its skull and the shape of its teeth, that the skeleton belonged to a black bear. It lived 2,800 years ago. And even though the skeleton of the bear is a little creepy, the really fascinating part is that it could prove that Chinese people were taming bears almost 3,000 years before today. I'm not saying the Chinese were walking around with bears on leashes, that's probably not what was going on. But archaeologist Ma Xiaolin does say that the Chinese were definitely trying to raise bears in captivity. When they did an analysis of the bear's left leg, they found it was shorter than the right leg. They wanted to find out why. After x-raying the bone, they found that the bear had suffered a fracture when it was a cub. In the wild, this kind of injury would mean certain death. But if the bear had been captured by humans and partly domesticated, it would have been able to grow to be an adult. And since it was at least five years old when it died, this has to be the case. We don't know what ancient Chinese people were doing with their bears. This one was found in a sacrificial pit that was used during the Western Zhou Dynasty from between the 11th century to 771 BC. But other than just keeping them for pets and eventual sacrifices, we really don't know what the Chinese wanted with tame bears. Number 7. The Cannabis Skeleton Archaeologists recently discovered one of the largest collections of ancient marijuana ever. The weed was found in the grave of a man who died 2,500 years ago. 
This man had Caucasian features, and he was laid to rest on a wooden bed and given pillows of reeds. He was also buried in a shroud of weed with a series of 13 cannabis plants laid over his chest. This guy was literally buried in a marijuana blanket. But this doesn't mean he was a prehistoric stoner. Instead, he was probably some kind of magic man. He probably used cannabis either ritualistically or medicinally. He was discovered buried by a team of researchers from the Chinese Academy of Sciences in the Turpan region, located in the extreme north of China by the border of Mongolia. It's believed he was a member of the Gushi Kingdom, a group of people that thrived from between 3,000 and 2,000 years ago. They played a large role as traders on the Silk Road before they vanished, and apparently they were pretty heavy into the grass. Did you know that ancient medicine frequently made use of cannabis? Let me know in the comments below. Number 6. Mexican Makeovers For the pre-Hispanic civilizations that lived in what is now Mexico, death was not the end of being beautiful. A new study has found that the ancient residents of Teotihuacan exhumed dead people from their graves and then painted them with cosmetic makeup during rituals of remembrance. In case you don't remember, Teotihuacan is the abandoned ancient city near modern Mexico City. It's filled with temples and pyramids, it was occupied before the Aztecs showed up, and it's full of mystery. One of these mysteries is that archaeologists found pots of cosmetic pigments here, which they've been able to directly link to death practices. The pots of pigment were made sometime around 200 AD, or about 1800 years ago. Back then, dead people were normally buried underneath the floors of their own houses. Sometime after they were buried, a high priest would come around to do a kind of last rites ceremony. They would dig up the body and then give the corpse a makeover. We don't know why this happened. Archaeologists guess it could have something to do with the economy. Since a lot of the pigments came from nearby mines, it probably promoted trade between miners, marketplace people, and the priests. We also know that only noble people received the post-death makeover, so it was probably quite an expensive affair. Number 5. Tablet to the God Maglis In the early 2000s, a team of over 60 archaeologists from the University of Leicester were working on a handful of sites in the city, doing excavations and other archaeological research. It was during one of these excavations that an ancient tablet was discovered dedicated to the god Maglis. A specialist from Oxford University was called in to translate what was inscribed on the sheet of lead, crafted either in the 2nd or 3rd century AD. It turned out that someone was extremely angry that they had been robbed. The inscription was a request to the god Maglis to punish the wrongdoer who stole his cloak. Someone had stolen this guy's jacket and he was wildly upset. He asked Maglis to destroy the thief post haste, then gave him a list of 19 suspects that could have been involved with the thievery. What's crazy about this is that nobody knows who Maglis is. If this was a god from 2000 years ago, Nobody today has ever heard of him, but if the god's name was being invoked for revenge, he must have been one seriously bad deity. And now for possibly the world's largest sacrifice, but first I want to say a big thank you to Stax the Ripper and Blue Devil YT and Mom! Hi guys, and thanks so much for watching! Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because we have lots more videos like these coming up! Number 4 Mass Child Sacrifice Archaeologists have discovered what very well could be the largest single incident of mass child sacrifice anywhere in the world. The discovery was made in Peru, with over 140 children and 200 young llamas being ritually sacrificed about 550 years ago. It happened on a bluff overlooking the Pacific Ocean at the time of the Chimu Empire. The scientific team behind the discovery was led by Gabriel Prieto of the Universidad Nacional de Trujillo, and while there have been plenty of incidents of human sacrifice throughout the world, especially in the Americas with the Aztec and the Maya, it was the Chimu civilization who really pushed things to the extreme. 140 may not sound like a lot in the grand scheme of things, but it's the equivalent of four or five classrooms of children massacred all at once. Horrific! And to make matters worse, nobody seems to have any idea why it happened. We know that at the peak of the Chimu Empire, they controlled over 600 miles of territory along the Pacific coast. We also know that their capital was Chan Chan, one of the largest cities in the Americas at the time. 
When it comes to South America, the only empire larger than the Chimu was the Inca, who actually put an end to these people in the year 1475. The children were all sacrificed sometime between the years 1400 and 1450, right at the end of the Chimu's long reign. It could have been that the kids were sacrificed as some desperate plea to an obscure god to save them from annihilation. We just don't know. The sacrifices were especially brutal, and researchers are trying to understand what led them to do this with their most precious members of society. Number 3. Desert Cemetery In the middle of an inhospitable desert in China, hundreds of amazingly intact mummies were discovered back in the 1990s. These mummies were found buried in boats 4,000 years ago during the Bronze Age. Ever since they were found, the identities of the mummies and where they came from has stumped archaeologists. But a new study has revealed some interesting information. Scientists sequenced the genomes of 13 mummies, discovering that they were descendants of hunter-gatherers from the Ice Age. But they still haven't been able to figure out why they buried their mummies in boats, as this wasn't done anywhere else in the region. The only other culture we know about that practiced burying their dead in boats were the Vikings, thousands of miles away from these people and thousands of years after they were already gone. And to make matters even more mysterious, the mummies were covered in cattle hides at the time of death and placed in the boats with oars at their heads. Keep in mind that these were desert people, a group that wasn't living anywhere near the open ocean. Why they would bury their dead in boats is one of the strangest enigmas in Chinese archaeology that nobody has ever been able to figure out. What is your guess? Let me know in the comments below. Number 2. Vampire Child Archaeologists have been left both baffled and horrified by the remains of a 10-year-old child found buried at an ancient Roman cemetery in Italy. This particular cemetery is believed to have been used strictly for burying people who may have possessed supernatural powers. This child was buried with a stone put in its mouth, likely as part of a funeral designed to stop the kid from rising beyond the grave. In other words, the local people thought the child was a vampire. Professor David Soren, one of the experts who has been excavating the mass burial site since back in the 1980s, described the child's burial as eerie and weird going on to say that he's never seen anything like it before. The cemetery is called La Necropoli dei Bambini in Italian, which translates roughly to the Cemetery of Children. Experts have been able to date the site back to 400 AD, to a massive malaria outbreak that mainly killed babies and small children. Up until the discovery of this vampire child, the oldest person found buried here was a three-year-old girl. But the supposed vampire wasn't the only peculiar burial here. Previous excavations revealed the bones of both infants and toddlers buried alongside objects frequently associated with witchcraft. These objects include creepy things straight out of a fantasy book, such as toad bones, raven talons, and even bronze cauldrons filled with the remains of sacrificed puppies. One child was even found buried with stones tied around her hands and feet. Number 1. The Sacred Mayan Pool It was in the middle of the first millennium AD that the Maya civilization was being decimated by drought. A series of droughts caused food to become scarce. It forced people to move out of the great Maya cities and seek refuge elsewhere, and it ultimately led to the collapse of this ancient civilization. According to a new discovery, the Maya knew exactly what was happening and desperately beseeched their gods for rain by conducting horrifying ritual sacrifices. Researchers have found evidence of what they've called a drought cult at the ancient site of Cara Blanca in Belize. The evidence consists of a Maya shrine, human remains, and other offerings at the bottom of a subterranean pool. The team of researchers believe the Maya journeyed to what they believed was a sacred pool specifically to purify themselves and leave offerings to the god of rain Chak to stop the drought. Researchers found offerings at the site from earlier periods, though these offerings were pretty bare bones. But later, near the end of the Maya lifespan, the offerings became extreme. People were sacrificing human lives, leaving behind their most precious valuables and really putting out all the stops in a desperate attempt to get some rain. To understand why the Maya people were so desperate, keep in mind that they experienced decades and decades of heavy rainfall leading to a boom in their population. 
but the rainfall stopped in the year 660 AD. The rain was then replaced by drought, with the drought going on for so long that almost all their cities had collapsed by the year 800. Near the end was when the drought cult surfaced, massacring people and dumping their bodies in cenotes to appease the gods. But as we all know, it didn't quite work. Thanks for watching! Be sure to hit that subscribe button and come back soon for more amazing discoveries! See you later! Bye!